Hello friends of the Uthermo channel. In this video we are going to show you how to use the XS EOS package for solid liquid phase equilibrium calculations. The specific problem we are going to solve is the solubility of palmitic acid in ethanol using the NRTL model. And NRTL stands for non-random to liquid excess Gibbs energy model. In our problem, we are going to plot the solubility of palmitic acid in ethanol as a function of temperature. Here is some background information about palmitic acid. It's a white solid at room temperature that melts at 63.1 degrees Celsius. It's a major component of dende oil, which is vastly used in Brazil. And it's also found in dairy products. And it's considered to be a risk factor for cardiovascular diseases. The calculations are based on a series of assumptions, the first of which is that the liquid phase contains both components, palmitic acid and ethanol. However, the solid phase is pure and only contains palmitic acid. Additional assumptions are that the molar enthalpy of fusion is temperature independent, as well as the difference between the molar heat capacities of palmitic acid in the liquid and solid phases. A formula for solubility in fluids under this set of assumptions appears in this slide as equation number one. On the left hand side, we see the natural logarithm of the mole fraction and of the active coefficient of palmitic acid. The right hand side depends on the melting temperature, on the molar enthalpy of fusion, and on the difference between the molar heat capacities of palmitic acid in the liquid and in the solid phases. If we make the additional assumption that this difference in molar heat capacity is very small and negligible, then the delta Cp term cancels out and this approximation is very commonly used in solid liquid equilibrium calculations. This leads to the simplified solubility equation shown as equation number three in this slide. By moving the term that depends on the molar enthalpy of fusion to the left hand side, this equation can be rewritten as it appears in equation number four. We can now define a residue delta for the solubility equation and delta will be equal to zero when we find the right phase equilibrium condition. To make a plot, we need to solve the phase equilibrium equation at several conditions. We can do that one by one or, as we will do here, solve for several conditions at the same time. Equation 6 is the solubility equation with an extra index J that indicates the point we are calculating. To solve for all conditions in a single run, we'll approach this problem as a minimization problem. We define an objective function F given by the summation of the squared residues at each data point. If at its point of minimum F is equal to zero, then each residue is equal to zero, meaning that all phase equilibrium conditions have been satisfied. Let's now see how we can formulate and solve this problem using excess US. Here is our spreadsheet with the reference to the original paper of the experimental data and credit to collaborators who helped prepare this example. Here is the formula for solid solubility in fluids and this is in simplified form as we are going to use. We also have the parameters of the NRTL model for the mixture of palmitic acid ethanol, alpha and the binary interaction parameters, properties of pure palmitic acid, the molar enthalpy of fusion and the melting temperature, and the universal gas constant. Here we have the experimental data found in the paper, the experimental temperature and molar fraction in the liquid phase, and here are initial guesses for the calculated temperature we will use here. We initialize them equal to the experimental values. Next, we are going to calculate the logarithms of the active coefficients using the NRTL model. And the function, the first argument is R, and we locked it with F4. Next, the calculated temperature, which is a guess. I Next, the mole fractions of the two components. And the last argument of this function is the set of parameters that characterize the mixture for the NRTL. 
We close the parameters and press Ctrl, Shift, Enter to get the two values. We now double click and get the values for all points. Next, we are going to get the residues using the simplified solubility equation. This means that we need to calculate the logarithm of palmitic acid in the liquid phase plus the logarithm of its active coefficient and then subtract the molar enthalpy of fusion lo locked with F4 divided by the universal gas constant also locked with F4 and this ratio multiplies the difference in temperature reciprocals. Note that we lock the melting temperature with F4 here. We double click and we see that the simplified solubility equation is not satisfied because the calculated temperatures are not right. Next, we square these the residues, get them for all points, and sum all of these squared deviations in order to calculate our objective function. Our next step is to call solver. Let's clear and reset solver. So our goal is to minimize the sum of squares. So we, we minimize. And the cells are going to change are the temperatures. We press solve. Solver is work on that. It has found a solution. And we now see that the calculated and experimental temperatures are different. However, we also see the solubility equation is now satisfied at all points. Let's take a look at the plot. Here's the plot that we wanted to get. And we see there is very good agreement between experiments and models. Thank you very much for watching this presentation. My name is Marcelo Castier and let me take this opportunity to invite you to subscribe to our channel and to visit our Facebook page. Bye for now.